Oh, wait a sec. Tell me about Arbiter. He's a member of the council. Heard he used to fight Metro Mind day and night. Mm -hmm. Man, of course. But he used to be back with the battle. One day he just sent his clerk Laird down to the Hungerbrooks and closed up shop. Ever since, Metro Mind says what the law is. How long ago was that? Who's down? Tell me about Clarity. Clarity was one of Arbiter's law clerks. Real cool and calculating that one. Once heard say that a robot should have his recharge or fuse just cause he'd stolen power from Metromine. Anyway, word was she got in some kind of fight with the old judge and he sent her down to the underworld. But she's still down there stewing. Goodbye. Hey, Ryan. Ryan. Top me off, will you? All right, that was a lot of lore, just a lot of exposition. Uh, exposition. But it was, it was cool. Now we're going to get some more exposition because we've got a few new keywords to look up. Fine, fine. Put me down for another Alright. Charity. Oh, there's two. Charity and Clarity. Oh. These twin robots were built to serve as law clerks to Arbiter, the former chief judge of Metropole. Neither have been seen in a long time. It is thought that Clarity engaged in some manner of crime, and for that reason is in hiding in the underworks. Okay, so we did clarity. What about charity? Same thing. Oh. Subway construction, repair, and precision excavation robot or scraper was built by Sternweller. Sternweller. In the Primordium. Hmm. Oh, I guess I'll check that. It is a loyal citizen of Metropole, always committed to the common good and eager to gather supplies for the city or chop up robots. Because of its background, Scraper has often worked closely with Metromind. Crap. <laughs> yeah. Alright. Sternweiler was a large scale manufacturer and the only real rival to back them. Its facilities were decommissioned and reincorporated into Factor as part of Metromind's efficiency initiative. Ah. Okay. Okay. The Primordium was the historical age where basic machines developed into modern machines with advanced logic and processing cap capacity. Little is known about this period. Uh, though, I created a technologist to seek to uncover its secrets in the name of progress. Primordium can be used to, to describe any period of great advancement. Alright, so now, let's see if anything has been updated. Don't think so. Dare I go down there? I don't think I can pull that it's up too yet. too heavy for me to lift. Goodbye. Alright. It's a price list. It's a price list. High end astringent and catalytic fluid. That arm robot appears to be the bartender here. They're taps for dispensing oil. It's a big blue cup. Hello? Uh, boss, he's an arm robot, not a mouth robot. I wouldn't expect much of a conversation. It's a price list. They belong to the bar. Give me I'd have to buy something. Yeah, I know. The mug belongs to the bar. Ah. A big yellow robot. Slag off. Shit. A 
tiny robot. Ah, I love it. Well, we've got all of this stuff here. The electricity would like kill me. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Yeah. Memory reader for something old and fancy. Crowbar for something shiny. A plug board for a mask. Motor for a larger motor. Glass finger for thumb. And that door. It's locked up tight. Alright, it's locked. Oh, wait, wait, wait. We, we do have to go to the. Hmm? Fine, fine. Put me down for another megacycle. Sounds like we need to get into the courthouse and talk to Arbiter. So, where is the courthouse? I can't safely grab it. Crispin, can you fly around the cable and push it ah. off the street? But didn't you just say it's too dangerous to get close to it? I'm giving you a chance to impress her, Crispin. Just fly up high enough that you don't get close to the sparks. Fine. Right, right. You push higher up. Okay, that makes sense. There we go. But the entire floor is metal. So, I don't, I don't get it. I've got a feeling I'm gonna regret this, boss, but do you think maybe we should try scrounging in the underworks? Oh, we definitely should. But not quite yet. She's holding a spool of copper wiring. She's holding a spool of copper wiring. Hey, Crispin, why don't you go talk to her? What? No way, boss. She's way out of my league. She's a floating lamp, Crispin. You've never had any trouble with lamps before. Well, I've never had to talk to one before, boss. Just knock them off ledges. I've got no practice. What, you need to meet? I've never had to talk to a lamp before, boss. I've got no practice. Maybe we'll have to get him to practice talking to a lamp. That'd be funny. It looks like he's trying to fix that. Excuse me. Can't you see I'm working? I've said it before, but I'll say it again. You do know this ship is never going to fly again, right? You're right about that. This old airing bus could only fly to begin with. Still, there might be some parts here that Metromine can use to get another bus up and running. Anyway, what do you want? Hey, boss, ask him about his helper. What happened here? What does it look like? The Herring Bus's motor gave out and it crashed. And the only branch leading from Main Street to the rest of the city center. Was uh, anyone on board? Sure, but they've already been salvaged. Salvaged? Not repaired? Can't repair without parts. You can't get parts without salvage. What about building new parts? Yeah, I mean, what factory? Uh, what about factor? Isn't he a factory? Sure, a decommissioned one. Look, everyone wants to spot bugs, but no one wants to write code. You got a better way to run the city? Go out and build one. Otherwise, get with the program. Get with the program. Get with the program. You mentioned Metromind. Yeah, sure. She's in charge of this big circuit board we call Metropole. What can you tell me about her? What do I look like? The information kiosk? I want to know what I think. Metromine is the best thing that ever happened in this place. Really? Really? You, me, all these other machines grinding them out. We're just tools in the toolbox. But Metromine, she's got the master plan. Progress. Got a nice ring to it, too. So it's part of the master plan, crashing buses into roads? Look, there's plenty of rust to go around, but Metromine's the only one scrubbing. Not her fault that some of the metal's too far gone. It looks to me like you're the one scrubbing, not Metromine. Like I said, I'm just a tool in the box. Now, I gotta get back to work. Mm hmm, no, we, we do again. What do you want? We continue talking. Um. I'm looking for a big robot. It floats and has big claws and shoots lasers. It scraper. After the last big cave-in, the two of us worked together on trying to fix the blue line. 
It's on the simple side, but a uh, hard worker. What about him? He took something of mine. Yeah, salvaged it, probably. That's what most of us do for Metro Mine these days. Stole it. Hey, you say router, I say router. Anyway, <laughs> not my problem. Where can I find Scraper? Do I look like a tour guide? Piece of advice for you. Don't mess with the code if you can't handle the glitches. Very profound. Mm. Since you're so close to her, do you know how I can talk to Metromine? <laughs> talk to Metromine? What? Metromine has an entire city to run. But Horizon ears are everywhere. If she wants to talk to you, she will. Do you know where I can find a power source? If I did, I'd have salvaged it myself and brought it to the tower. When will the bridge be passable? Soon? So, I'd say something on the order of a month, give or take. A month? Give or take. And there's no other way off Main Street? Not unless you got a jetpack hiding under that jacket. Well, at least that narrows our options down, boss. My friend is curious about your helper. No, she's just a sidekick factor build. Else is of a mold off the assembly line back in the day, but she's probably the only one left. Really not much more than a floating lantern, and headlamps are a lot cheaper. She says you're not much more than a floating plasma torch. She's right. Goodbye. Uh -huh. Talk to her. Did it. I've never had to talk to a lamp before, boss. Damn it. I've got no practice. She's holding a spool of copper wiring. She's holding a... Yeah, okay. I think I've gotten everything I can out of him. I have nothing to say to him. Yeah, okay, sure, sure, sure. Will it be up in here? Guess not. Okay. Well, we can go through this area here now, though. I guess the pilot didn't see the stoplight. A crashed hover bus. What are they called? Um, he called it something, I think. Yeah, I like the name of it, but I forget what it was called. All right. Seems robots Don't keep the baby. I'm pretty sure that wiring isn't up to code. Oh. Oh. Beep beep boop boop, I'm my dad. Metropole's bleak skyline. Metropole. Looks important. It's a carving of a gynoid holding crude scales in one hand. Gynoid. Hmm. I mean, she's a pretty cute lamp. Hmm. All storage bladders empty. Disputable. Oh. Fat robot. A rotund robot wearing a monocle. A tall robot wearing a top hat. A complicated floating robot with a spinning antenna on its head. A small, simple robot. A tough looking war machine. Oh shit. That's the same sort of model as uh, Leo built Ever Faithful, I think, the one guarding the bomb. Ahoy, my dear friend! Oswald Factorman at your service! What's no more, your dear friend, than Rex is your creation, you besotted gear oiler. Oh, don't mind poor Rex. He's been bitter since the first great rolling brownout. Better, I'll show you better, you backbiting bot snatcher. I think I like these guys, boss. Huh. What's in that building? Why, Arbiter's Court, of course. Why else would we be here? I need to see Arbiter. We all do, my dear friend. But the courthouse is not. In first come, first serve. Why are you waiting in line? Justice! I'm here for justice! To prove that I, Cornelius Factorbuild, created this marvelous machine, Rex. Rex Cornelius Built. Ignore him, my dear friend. Candidly, he is 10, 23 flops short of a kilo, if you catch my drift. <laughs> the machine's name is Oswald Built. Rex Oswald Built. 
Oh. This isn't for a name. Why not just let Rex decide? Ridiculous. Preposterous. So, uh, boss, would you fight over me like this? What? You could call yourself Crispin Crispy, and for all I care, <laughs> as long as you still pull things off legend for me, that is. Glad to know I'm loved. So you got Rex, and then you got Oswald. Okay. How are you going to decide who gets Rex? For the law, for the law. Please excuse my brother. He barely remembers. I have the law. For I arrest my case. Suffice it to say, old chap, we await the reopening of the courthouse. Or more precisely, we await a summons from Arbiter who will decide our case. Who will say whose contribution was more important? Who will say in front that my contribution was more important? Hmm. I'm looking for a big robot. It floats and has lots of claws and shoots lasers. It stole something of mine. Have you seen it? Indeed. The robot you described sounds like Scraper, Metroline's enforcer. Whatever he took is gone forever. I refuse to accept that. Oh, he refuses. How delightful. Do you know where I can find a power source? Alas, my friend, power is not so abundant in Metropole as it once was. Mag and conventional mind seized it all, seized it, and doles it out. And there's hardly enough to go around now. Metro Mind keeps all power sources in the Great Tower where the Council used to meet. If you want to share it, you will need to pay her in megacycles. Megacycles? Yes, megacycles, you ninny. Symbiocycles. Brain power. The kind of power she really wants. Oh, the rate processor was made for running trains, not a city. Mmm. Oh, that makes sense. Mint for mind. Right, right. Right. Could someone else judge your case? Of whom were you thinking? Metro mind, perhaps? Authority, to be sure, but I fear she can claim Rex for good of all. And since the subway schemer, he means Metro mind. Shut down our builder factor. He cannot help either. What about Horatio? Who? Me. And why should we listen to you? I built a robot before, and I had no stake in this. Yes, yes, well and good, but this is a matter of law and logic. A bit harder than banging together a tin can like your companion. How can Ooh. we be sound? Test me. An interesting proposition. What do you say, Cornelius? What did I say? I say that you are a liar and a thief, Oswald. But as to this Horatio, well, as to him, so be it. Boss, if they make us find seven lost crystals, I'm quitting. Shh. Right, then. Consider this. At the binomial biennial, by seven robots in the probability circle are gathered for the party. The what circle is gathered at the what what? Is this some kind of vocab test? I said quiet. Each robot is either a factor built or a stone wireless built. Blasted stone wireless. And moreover, each robot is designed with either a quad core, a linear type, or a multiplex processor architecture. This is ridiculous! Pay attention. Factor or Sternweiler. Quad core, linear type, or multiplex. Indeed. Now I will tell you three things about these probabilitists. First, there are more factor built robots than Sternweiler builds. Second, every linear type robot was built by factor. Finally, Sternweiler never built a robot with a quad core. Now listen. Which of the following statements about the probabilitist circle cannot possibly be true? <clears throat> Damn, logic question. <laughs> um, could you repeat the question? Hmm. Indeed, at the binomial biennial, seven robots in the probability circle are gathered for parties. Seven. Each robot is either a factor built or a stone wire built, mm -hmm. and moreover, each robot is designed with either a quad core, a linear type or a multiplex processor architecture. Now I will tell you three things about these probabilitists. First, there are more factor-built robots than stone wireless builds. Second, every linear type robot was built by factor. Finally, stone wireless never built a robot with a quad core. Now listen, which of the following statements about the probabilitist circle cannot possibly be true? <clears throat> there are seven. <laughs> 